Hi everybody, welcome back to the kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. In today's video, we are going to make peanut butter pie. So let's get started. The first part of this recipe is the crust. You can use a pre-made uh, pie crust from the store, but I highly recommend you make this pie crust from scratch. It's our sourdough pie crust and it's super easy to make. You just want to take some butter and use a cheese grater. This is the best way that I have found to make pie crust because you're going to, to grate that butter onto the, into the bowl and it's going to come out in these fine little ribbons and that is what helps to make a nice flaky pie crust when those pieces of butter kind of burst in the oven, the, the moisture, and that's what creates those flaky layers. So just grate that butter into a bowl, put your flour, you're gonna add a little bit of salt and sugar, your sourdough starter and some vinegar. And you're just gonna mix that together with a spatula or something because you don't want to heat up that butter. But um, after you kind of get it all together, you can then use your hands to form that dough into a disc shape. And it shouldn't be too dry and it shouldn't be too sticky. Just wrap that up in a piece of plastic and stick it in your fridge to let that firm back up for at least two hours. So once that's ready to go, you're gonna want to roll it out. Make sure you flour the surface of your work surface because you don't want that dough to stick. And if it feels a little bit sticky, don't worry about adding some flour. Sometimes you just need to do that. You just wanna get that rolled out till it's about 1 8 of an inch thick and then put it into your pie plate. I like to trim the edges and then I put a piece of parchment paper that I've crumbled up over the uh, crust and then I add some beans and this is gonna weigh that crust down so it doesn't puff up in the oven. Those beans kinda of act like pie weights and the parchment paper is what protects the crust from touching the beans. So you're gonna to wanna to pop that into a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes, take it out, remove the beans, and then use a fork to prick that pie crust all over the surface, and that will help any you know, bubbles not to form in your pie crust when you stick it back in. So you wanna bake that for another 15, maybe 20 minutes, but you want that crust to be nice and golden brown. Once it's done baking, set it aside and let that cool completely. Now it's time to make the peanut butter filling. Now, this stuff is so yummy, you guys. Oh, I can't wait for you to try this. So it's very, very easy to make. And this part of the pie is a no bake pie. So you are going to take some heavy cream and you're gonna add just a little bit of cream of tartar to it and beat that until it forms stiff peaks. Set that aside and then in a separate bowl, you're gonna to wanna to take some creamy peanut butter, some cream cheese and some powdered sugar and you're gonna to want to beat that until you can get it as smooth as possible. You may have to add just a little bit of heavy cream to kind of thin it down if it seems like it's too thick. Once you have all of that mixture nice and creamy and smooth, then you're gonna take about half of that and fold it into the whipped cream. Just use a spatula to keep folding it in. You might have to stir it around a few times, then put the rest of that in there and stir that together until it is as smooth as it can be. Don't worry about over stirring it and deflating the whipped cream. It'll be fine, I promise. Once you have that really nice and well combined, pour it into your pie crust. I like to take some chopped peanuts and sprinkle those on top and also some flaky sea salt. I think that sea salt just kind of adds a little bit of, you know, something to the sweetness of the pie. So stick that into your refrigerator for at least three hours to chill and that's it. You're ready to eat. All right, let's go ahead and slice into